Hey, welcome back guys to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded for a while, but um, today I'd just like to go over some goal goalie gear, some, um, some cups, just in general what you would wear to protect, um, protect you know, your guy stuff. So, um, this, sorry for not uploading like four months. It's been really busy with my junior high school season. Uh, just started travel across with a team called UL, which is new to my area. I'm very fortunate to be able to be part of that team and just kind of go with those guys. We're going down to Philly this weekend. So um, in upcoming reviews, you might see some uh, gold and gray gear, and that's uh, that's from them. So um, there should be a couple, couple more reviews coming out in the next couple days. Um, just gear. Talking about helmets, what helmets I like, what helmets I wear, um, my preferred helmet, um, different things like that. But uh, today's just gonna talk a little bit about cups, and you know, um, I personally feel every player should wear a cup on the field um, if you're trying to protect yourself or play any sort of physical game lacrosse. I mean, really, there's no reason you shouldn't uh, with the technology now. They can be very comfortable and form-fitting. So I'm just going to run through a couple of the options that um, I've worn over the years um, for playing field, but also for playing in the position of goalie because you want obviously a little bit more if you're going to be taken head-on every time compared to just maybe a stick hitting you or a shot hitting you every once in a while there. Um, so let's go with the first option here. We have this white... Um, is it a shock doctor? I see shock doctor, like, I don't even know, um, like compression pants slash, there's this liner and you put whatever cup you wanted in there and it kind of hold it nice and close to you. So that, that's the green liner I was talking about. Uh, I personally do not wear these for goalie stuff. However, I wear this, like, if I'm gonna play field or even um, speed lacrosse, like we have a speed lacrosse league up here, and you tend to get hit there for whatever reason, even though there's no like checking at all. So um, I would wear one of these. They're just light. They fit. I mean, the cup I put in it, it's really comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. You wear it at practice a few times. You get used to it. Please wear a cup if you play field. My recommendation, just a shock doctor. There might be other things like guys like jock straps. Sometimes those get uncomfortable for me when I'm running around a lot. So um, please just get yourself a cup. Figure out which one you like. Buy a couple different brands. Buy a couple different like cups to put inside of it. Um, the next thing we're gonna go into more goalie specific cups, or um, just if you want to have a little bit more padding. So this one, these are also made by Shock Doctor. It's got like pads, and um, these pads, they're not the most sturdy pads, but they're gonna reduce the bruising a lot. I've worn these a couple times, and again, very comfortable, very flexible, but also the right amount of protection. And um, there's, again, that, what's it called? That um, inside cup holder part. Sorry guys, where was I? Sorry if the video audio is a little um, loud or I'm quiet I'm pretty close to the microphone but if it doesn't pick me up then uh, I'll have to redo this that would not be good so I was talking about the shock doctor kind of ones with the plates in them and they're very flexible plates it's almost foam and I mean you're still gonna get hurt when you get hit by that ball and this is more goalie specific gear but if I've played you know, an entire tournament day, I'll throw these on the next day, just kind of help reduce those bruises I might get and the size of them. So these are well worth the money. They're gonna be kind of expensive. I think it's $75, but I've had these ones for seven months, six months. So they're not gonna break down on you. Uh, very good by Shock Doctor. The last one I have, it's very traditional, almost like an ice hockey goalie cup. This is the Warrior Nut Cup. 
and I mean, man, there's it's a great cup. If you're gonna pick something just to wear for goalie, pick this out. Um, you're, it's jock strap style, so I wasn't a big fan at first. It makes it easier to, to put on, like, in a big group of people. Like, you don't have to like, drop your pants all the way down. You can kind of just, like, slip it in there, which is a little bit nicer for tournaments if you're taking it on and off a lot and you don't want to, you know, moon people. Um, it comes up a little bit more than most cups. So there's a white removable plate and like the STX pads. I get mine really close to these. So then you still have that little bit of protection down there and um, your stomach area. You don't get hit there a lot, but it is nice to have something there. And I'm this very cushy padding up through there. Very soft to have on you. Um, there's two plastic plates in the front here. So anyway, I was talking about those plastic plates in the front here. Very sturdy. Those are on the side of the cup area. So your cup sits right there and you've got these plastic plates, which kind of help those side impacts that you might not, the cup might not protect you as much for um, those, those kind of help. So on the back here, very soft the part that goes into you so very soft very easy to run in even though it might look bulky it's easy to run in it does stick out a lot more than most cups but again you are getting that pelvis protection some plastics in there this part on the back which does help absorb a lot and then the cup itself which i'll show you in a minute here after i talk about the straps i'm personally not a big fan of velcro straps if you've listen to any of my other reviews. I don't know if I've mentioned that, especially on gloves. So in the glove reviews, that will that will show through a little bit, but um, not a big fan of these Velcro straps. And there's two on this um, strap around you and the strap that goes in between your legs. Um, I've been wearing this probably more for about three months now, maybe probably even less than that, but I, I love it. Um, Velcro is annoying, but Oh well. Um, now to the inside of the cup. You get kind of, see this Velcro is already, already kind of all like got in my pants and stuff. And so I don't like that very much, but this cup's, cup's hard to get out. This can, I've put this in the shock doctor stuff. Um, even though you know, it's not really meant to go in there. It's not one of their products, but so all plastic. There's two little perforations. I don't know what those do. This all rubber right here to help absorb some of the impact. There's nothing like no vent holes under that. Um, in the winter time, you're gonna or in the summertime, it gets a little bit hot. But when I've played inside, it stays pretty good. Soft, extremely soft rubber on the outside. Um, one of the shock doctor ones that I have, which is just like a um, plastic plate in the front. Uh, the rubber is a little bit stiff on that one. This soft, it's got inside padding. So that with this um, really has kind of became my favorite for goalie. It'd be so much to run around with though um, as a normal field player. So that's um the warrior knot cup i'll just recap kind of your options um this is just standard you're playing field maybe you try an out goalie any cup you should always have a cup on when you play goalie so any cup is better than no cup next um you know kind of not looking for the most protection for your um, junk just kind of kind of some side protection this is perfect um, you're looking for the most protection though for your junk. You can even put one of these under this, which I'll probably do in the next upcoming tournament. Just give my legs a little bit of a break. Um, with those higher, higher speed shots, um, like hockey goalies, they wear two to three cups. So even that second cup under there, if I feel the need to put that in, um, this gives you a little bit of peace of mind, you know, not to flinch or not to move out of the way when something's 
coming in there. So that's kind of a recap, um, just kind of a general overview of like cross cups and what like their uses are. So it was like kind of a cup review, everything wrapped into one. See you guys next time.